What's going on everyone? Juicebags here, and welcome back to some Dungeon Defenders 2. I've been getting lots of folks to ask me to update some of these defense spotlights, and some of them I haven't done even though it's a super common defense. And the reason I haven't done it is because the other spotlight, the tweaks have been very, very minor, and the old spotlight, the build still works. So previously on Flame Mars, I was using anti-melee, melee boom, and tenacity. Now, I have recently removed Tenacity from that Flame Aura setup, and I am now going with Defense Range Servo instead. Uh, my mentality here is, first off, you have to make a choice with your R's, really. Do you want to do more damage, or do you want to have more range? So, do you want to hit it once for 20, or do you want to hit it twice for 15 apiece? Um, I always choose the range over the more power, as I kind of like to look at the damage done total at the end of the map and not just how much damage you can do per hit. So I always choose range, however there's no really wrong answer here. Whatever is going to win maps with you with your flame Mars is the way you should do yours. However I did remove tenacity. So I'm now going with anti-melee, melee boom, and defense range servo. Melee boom of course has had some changes uh, a couple of updates ago. I'm still finding it effective. I do know that eventually I'll probably swap that out. But for right at the moment, it's still working really good. Um, I'm on, on Onslaught Floor 230, and the booms are just going off like mad. So I see lots and lots of damage on a melee boom still, even though it did take that massive, massive smack to the face. Now, as far as the range versus the tenacity, once again, if you can outrange a cyborg, then you can kill it prior to it getting within range to disable it. And that's why I took tenacity off. Now I still do have tenacity on my weapon manufacturers, I know a lot of folks have even gone away from tenacity on it, however I do like to have something for the, for the Curse of Kazi lanes, and the weapon manufacturers get the job done for me there. Now if I had a choice right now, and I actually thought about doing it, maybe pulling that melee boom off and going with Gobu boom instead? I haven't, uh, you know, I just haven't made the decision as this one is still working really well for me. Uh, if I get to the point where I don't see those bow booms going off anymore, and I'm not seeing that massive amount of damage done, then I'll probably either swap it out to another anti-mod, like maybe anti-orc, or put that gobu boom on it. I'm not really sure which route I'm going to go yet, and of course it all depends on what mods you find between now and then. But I still have, you know, still have some room to grow as far as the onslaught push goes, using anti-melee, melee boom, and defense range servo. Now of course this is my main defense. Uh, I know a lot of folks, the monk is super popular, and I would guess the flame R is probably the most overall used defense in the game, would be my guess. Um, so I'm, my mass destruction goes there, so I'm going with defense rate, mass destruction, and deadly strikes. And even with uh, gilded deadly strikes and that maxed defense range servo, I'm still not getting all the way to the range cap on the flame Aras. However, as you can tell, they're pretty darn big. <laughs> and I like it. But that will do it for now. Just a quick update to Flame Aras 2.0, just to let everyone know what I am using. Now, like I said, by all means, there's lots of choices with Flame Aras and lots of different ways to use them. So make sure you customize your defense for what you think works best for you. So thank you all so much for watching. Click that like button and please subscribe to the channel. And I will be back soon with more Dungeon Defenders 2. Thanks again. I'll see you.